Hi there. So many of you out there probably own an old tabletop or console radio that looks like this. That's a great AM broadcast listener, and they have some short wave bands on them. Well, when you listen to the short wave bands, you probably hear stuff that sounds like this. Okay, that's known as single sideband. And these radios lack the ability to decode that. So, how you make your old receiver like this, or your old console, or whatever, decode sideband is very simple. Just go pick up a small signal generator from your local ham fest, or, you know, look online, or wherever you want to find your signal generator from, and make sure that it does the RF frequencies, so that, you know, it, you know, comfortably goes to, say, 30 megahertz. You can get old vacuum tube uh, signal generators from HamFest for almost nothing. You do usually have to recap them, just like this receiver has been recapped. But um, you normally have to do that. In a way they go, they work really well. So you plug them in, turn them on, let them get warm so they stabilize. And then what you do is you hook the antenna of your, of your receiver here to the input of your signal generator. So pretty simple. This is my signal generator here. It's, it's pretty complex, but the, it does exactly the same thing as the small signal generator that you would buy does. And um, it's, this is just here for example. This is what I've got on the bench right now. So this is the output of my signal generator. It's just coupled directly to the input of this receiver. Right at the antenna jacking, you insert a small amount of signal into the input of your receiver, and uh, you can decode sideband. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So we can see we're just below 4 megahertz right here, okay? So we'll turn the volume up, and we'll roll this to just below 4 megahertz. So there you go. So this is very close to the frequency that they're talking on right now. This guy's really far out, but you'll hear this other guy come in really strong. Not only that, there goes all your knife and gun shows. Bingo, they're gone. And if you give a firearm, so to you can a see now. We'll shut this off again. And I'll turn it back on. So there you go. So if we tune down the band. So we found another one. This one is right around 3.7, a little higher than 3.7 megs. So we'll roll our signal generator down. And there you go. That's just how easy it is. Yeah, no, no, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I've, I've listened to a lot of it uh, on the radio. And, uh, I'll shut my signal generator off. Really and I'll turn it back on. So you can see the levels are really low. There's no way that they're going to hear this. This is a very low signal, so you're not really transmitting out of your antenna or anything. And you're basically just feeding enough signal into your receiver just so that you're inserting a carrier in there and mixing it with this signal here so that it thinks that there's a carrier. So you're really just adding a carrier. You see, I'll shut it off again. Turn it back on again. You can see when I roll this off frequency. Uh, 
So you can see that's just how easy it is to listen to sideband on one of your old radios. So all you need is an old signal generator and just fool around with it for a little while. Hook it up to your antenna input and uh, make sure that you know your signal generator isn't a broadcast transmitter or something so that you know you're you're jamming uh, radio waves or anything like that. But you want just enough, just enough uh, signal to come out of your signal generator to go into your antenna input and uh, mix it at that point and away you go. And you can listen to sideband broadcasts on your old AM radio. Hope you enjoyed.